Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It has been kind of quiet. I apologize. I really did want to get those Taurus Winter Cycle Tarot forecasts up, but I didn't. Life comes at you fast. I'm sorry. I'm here now. <laughs> back with a Gemini Lunar Cycle Tarot forecast, and we are going to be looking at the month of June through the beginning of July. And this video is from my Capricorn babies, Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising like myself. A typical four card spread looking at the energies coming in for us or the energies that we need to be tapping into any crossing energies or obstacles we might be facing Chelsea are you stressed out girl are you stressed over there <laughs> do y'all hear my dog sighing all heavy like she has such a long day it's barely even noon it's not even noon <laughs> um okay also because this is the Gemini lunar cycle looking at where we need to let life lead us during this next month and then an additional soul message something extra for us to take away with us from this spread okay so let's just go on and this is a general reading so if you feel like what i'm saying does not resonate with you go on and check out your moon and or rising sign which i do have a link down below in the description box all right all right now let's go on and get started first card that we have coming up in the spread is the card of truth and i love seeing this here um briefly i'm going to talk about the numerology it's 25 which is the number two um harmony peace balance and then five is change so bringing all these bringing the change in to bring you into that energy that resonates with two 25 breaks down to seven which is the number of truth right you've got another seven card in the spread too um so capricorn this lunar cycle for us may not be a lot of physical work actually you know what i'm lying because you've got two earth cards here um may not be a lot of physical work that you thought you might see yourself doing if that makes sense this card coming up here does i just really get the feeling that a lot of the capricorns out there this is going to be a time where we are really figuring out exactly what it is that we need to do the things we want to do and to be living the life that we want to live capricorn you are earth but we're dealing with a gemini lunar energy and this means the energy of intellect, the energy of change, the energy of really going wherever the wind blows you. So I feel like Capricorn during this lunar cycle, you're going to be figuring out, okay, thinking about a lot of things, thinking about life being very reflective, looking back over the past few years, like, okay, this went like this and this didn't work out. What part did I play in this? This could have went like this, but I didn't do this. And this is what I want. This is what I need. And this is who I am right now this is who i need to be to get to that particular point this is the card of truth that resonates with the energy of truth so i feel like um and i did while i was pulling these cards i did pick up on the energy of having to learn a little bit about ourselves and having to learn a little bit of our negative aspects and figuring out what we need to do to alter those things and i think it's important to remind y'all that nobody is perfect nothing is perfect um but i think it's important to when you have the time to take a little bit of a little bit of time out of your day to self-reflect and look at what you consider to be your flaws and if there's something that you want to improve figure out what it is you need to do to make those improvements I feel like that is the energy that we'll be dealing with during this next month um capricorn there are a lot of you out there that have your eyes set on this vision and I pick up on the energy that although you have this vision, you have been slowly creeping towards it, but kind of a one step forward, two steps back thing, but also going at 0.25 miles an hour. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like during this next month, you'll be figuring out, okay, I'm moving this slow because of X, Y, and Z, and this is how I'm going to increase my speed. Um, I've been taking two steps backwards every time I take a step forward because of the A, B, and C, and this is what I'm going to do so that I'm only taking steps forward now. These are the flaws in my character. These are the flaws in my process, and this is what I need to do to improve upon that. So, And I don't feel like it's a heavy, like, beating yourself up type of energy. Gen Gemini is very innovative, so I feel like this energy coming in, you, you're getting that analytical energy with that air um, to figure things out, but then you're going to also get this kick of energy to say, oh, 
uh, aha, like a eureka moment, like, oh, hey, this is what I need to do to get me to where I want to be. So very positive energy here for you, Capricorn. I feel like this is a little bit of a a kick to really get you moving, which makes sense. Like you figure things out because you are Earth, but you guys are very you go by it. you usually go with the process you like to have a plan so for you Capricorn I feel like the plan has been a little hazy but during this next month it's like those things are going to clear up for you and you're going to be like oh okay these are the steps that I need to take or this is what I could do or I could do this remember Gemini or I could do x y and z in order to get myself to where I want to be right right okay <laughs> next card that we have coming up in the spread is Urzuli La Flambeau and this is the Petro card, a seven of fire. Um, it's in a crossing position. Cancer got this card also, which is so funny because these two, these are my two readings. Um, so I'm like, what kind of game am I kicking to myself here? And I don't really be listening to myself when I do these readings. So it's, I go back and listen. And I'm like, oh, okay. But um, you've got Urzuli La Flambeau here. And this card, when it comes up in a crossing position, I always, for the most part, read it as... The energy of being resistant to change you've got the aspect of truth coming in for you but being the little stubborn ass capricorns little stubborn ass goats that y'all are that we are I'm not even gonna let me not let me stop flexing and trying to exclude myself <laughs> say my rising sign uh anyway <laughs> Being as stubborn as you can be, Capricorn, especially when you have a plan, especially if you have a certain picture of yourself or a certain way that you like to view yourself, can be a little difficult for you to get yourself out of that and really resonate with what really is. So I don't have a really big message for you in regards to your crossing energy because I feel like this is all that it is, is that you are just a little resistant to the new chapters coming in and also possibly a little bit in denial about the part that you've played in the way that things didn't work out in the way that you wanted them to um also a little in denial about what improvements you need to make in order for you to get yourself to where you need to be capricorns you are smart i feel like you already know the types of changes that you need to make but if it takes you out of your comfort zone you're really not with the shits but guess what this is gemini energy gemini lunar cycle and what is gemini with the shit so let life lead you to be with the shit stop being your own obstacle stop being resistant to change okay allow the things to come in that need to come in allow yourself to learn the things that you need to learn about yourself and then go on and make the moves do the work so that you can be at that you know that end goal that i was talking about you got to work through this. You got to figure this stuff out. You have to allow the change to come in in order for you to even be able to progress towards that point. Okay. All right. The next card that I have coming up for y'all. <clears throat> actually, I need a sip of water. Because I was about to start coughing like a crazy woman. Um, Next card that I have coming up for you, Capricorn, is in the position of... The Gemini energy where you need to let life lead you during this next month. And you've got Oriate. And this is the Santeria card. This is the uh, the Prince of Swords. The Knight of Swords. So, the Knights usually come in with this message. And they come in with some work. For you to be done especially with the earth card um i want to read this in a couple of different ways for you first because it is a court card i would like to say that there may be capricorn some other earth sign around you that you have a connection with or that you know that you might need to spend a little bit more time with in order for you to start building and growing or learning some things um also this could very much just be you this is a card that talks about you know being very logical so i feel like you guys really need to understand and accept the things that are coming in for you this card is also a very carries a very um motivational energy it's a card of determination so um whatever it is that you want capricorn you have to understand and lock in and hone in on what that is but you also in order to like i said in order to progress towards that point you have to do the work that you need to do before then i do say in a lot of my readings um and this message comes up for a lot of people you might have baggage you might have a way that you like to do things but again capricorn you are smart you is smart you is kind you you not kind but uh, mm, let me not don't be in the comments saying we're nice because that might be a whole lie. <laughs> 
but you know you're smart figure things out you understand the work that you need to do i think for y'all you're just in a space to where you don't want to do it because you're used to you guys are also creatures of habit just like cancer who got that crossing that same crossing card um you like to do things the way that you want to do them so when things come in with a little with this aspect of change you tend to be very resistant to it understand capricorn that the change come in and coming in is still going to get you to where you need to be but you need to trust the process and you need to actually participate <laughs> in the process okay so go through the cycles go through the motions allow yourself to grow allow yourself to heal allow yourself to learn about yourself in order for you to in the physical do the work that you need to do to become the best version of yourself to become that version that you want to be to again to get yourself to that end point to that end goal all right all right last card that i have coming up for you capricorn in the spread and this is <laughs> Ooh, both of these readings resonate with now that I'm, I'm kind of paying attention, but this is, if you know me, you know that the coral card coming up here is Gemini season finna be lit, y'all. Um, this card resonates with the energy of 18, which breaks down to nine. But before we talk about the nine, one, new cycles, beginnings, manifestation, independence, eight cycles, infinity, karma, your truth you are learning, you are coming to a point to where you are learning who the best version of yourself is and what that looks like and how to get to that point. And this card resonates with this, comes with the energy to allow flow and synchronicity into your life, Capricorn, whatever is happening, especially with this truth energy. Don't you dare be this resistant little Urzuli La Flambeau in the crossing position. Capricorn, allow change to happen. Allow yourself to take in the messages and receive the energy that you need to receive in order to put yourself into the places that you need to be. I feel like the most important thing for you, Capricorn, is your end goal right now, whatever that may be. Um, and I feel like it's something tangible. So whatever your end goal is, Capricorn, understand, babies, that you cannot get to that point unless you do the work, unless you accept the things about yourself that you need to accept and understand what it is that you need to change and then start making that change. Do not be resistant to change. We are in a air, we're in an air lunar cycle. Go with the flow. Go wherever the wind blows you. Be Gemini. <laughs> um, and just allow life, like I said, allow life to lead you. Literally, this position, if we could flip it into the Gemini position, allow life to lead you. Let things happen. Let things play out as they should. And you will find yourself in the position that you want to be in, just maybe not in the way that you thought you'd get there. Okay, Capricorn. All right, y'all. That's it. It's lit. Um that's your reading. I hope it resonated with y'all. If you feel like you need some more insight or a personal reading, feel free to book one with me. I do have that information linked down below. Um, we have a couple weeks left of the spring lunar cycle, so check out your vernal equinox at spring. I'm sorry, not the spring lunar. We've got a couple weeks left of the spring season, and I have the vernal equinox, the spring season tarot forecast up and linked down below as well. And if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the energies that we'll be dealing with as a collective in regards to the Gemini lunar cycle, Check that out too. That is also linked down below. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch y'all next time. Peace.